Hello, beautiful people. How are you doing? I hope you're good and fine. Thank you so much for clicking once again. And welcome to the channel. Uh, if you are new, please make sure you subscribe to this channel. It's a happy family. I don't know why you're not subscribed. If you have been watching for a long time, so please subscribe. And if you are a returning subscriber, just hit the notification bell so that you can always be notified anytime I put a new video. Today, you can see I'm just walking around my environment here. I hope the dogs are not released because they say, <laughs> there's one house with dogs here. I don't think it's this one anyways. So I just want to stroll around. Uh, but how are you? But I will um, tell you guys some things, okay? Uh, today's video is going to be about what? Let me cross this side first peacefully so that uh, <laughs> you don't hear stories that touch. So yes, guys, I said the question for today, which I'm going to be answering in this video if you stay to the very end, is... Now I finished my master's, right? I finished my MSc. So is Bolu leaving Malaysia or what is next? If you want to know what is next, just stay tuned to the very end and catch you guys. Okay guys, welcome back. So I'm just trolling on my not very far from my house area. So the topic before you, why did you click? You want to know if Bolu is leaving Malaysia or not, right? So basically, I think they are doing the prayers or something. Huh? It's not very easy to vlog this evening. Maybe I will have done this in the morning, but I just wanted to come at the time when the, the weather is still very, where the weather is cool, basically. Okay? Am I even supposed to wear this, but I don't want those people to see me on the way. <laughs> But I think I'm alone now. Anyways, I finished my master's in Malaysia, as many of you know. And I've even done some videos about that, okay? Uh, so, the question before us today is, now I finished my master's, what next, right? What am I still doing in Malaysia? Am I not going to leave, okay? What am I doing in Malaysia? Does my staying in Malaysia add any value to my life at this point, okay? Am I not just wasting time and spending money and doing all those stuff? You want to know? I'm going to tell you today. Keep watching. Masters in Malaysia has been nice, to be sincere. There are a lot of lessons, you know, that has been learned. There are a lot of friends that have been made. Not so many friends. So in summary, it's been a wonderful time. And yeah, for your information, I didn't even study my masters with any scholarship, okay? There was no scholarship. It was self-sponsored, okay? I sponsored myself with the help of my parents at the beginning and stuff like that. So yes. What am I still doing here, right? But I'm going to tell you guys why I'm still in Malaysia at this time, actually, is because of different reasons, different reasons, okay? And I will be revealing to you if I'm going to leave or not. The thing is that in life, you tend to get used to a particular place, okay? You tend to get used to a particular place having, uh, after staying there for, uh, for a while, okay? Especially if you have actually benefited anything from that place then you see that you begin to actually relate okay with the surrounding there the weather the people the food and all that am i right so of course bolu actually enjoyed malaysian food that's one of the reasons why i actually enjoyed malaysia so much their food is tantalizing and that's why i usually what vlog about it once in a while but that's that's that shouldn't be the main reason right two is the people in Malaysia, I have met good people, like very, very good people. I've also met the ones that are averagely good. And I've also met the ones that are critically low. What? I don't even know where to classify those ones. But to cut the long story short, I've met good people in Malaysia. Seriously, I have friends here already. And it's just an amazing journey all through. Another thing is because I'm actually, what? Exploring Malaysia. As you can see, I started my YouTube channel last month. Uh, sorry, last year. What's that thing sounding? Okay. These are natural additions to your video to make it more beautiful. <laughs> I'm very lucky uh, that I see natural things. So yeah, what I was I saying? I said, uh, I started my YouTube channel here in Malaysia and that was uh, 2019. Because we're already in 2021, right? So it's not even last year. It was 2019. Okay, that I started my YouTube channel and it's been a very wonderful time to be sincere. I just feel happy exploring Malaysia and learning more about Malaysia, our culture, 
and our people. So it's not been a waste, actually. Like I said in one of my videos, it's not all about money, okay? So people just feel that if you are doing a YouTube channel, you are a, you know, a big person, you are making, you know, thousands of dollars and all that, my dear. It's not really uh, like that all the time, okay? But anyways, yeah, that's one of the reasons. So I've really enjoyed Malaysia. I've enjoyed the exploring and all that. And I really want to explore more. The next thing is, what I would like you guys to know is that despite all these reasons, okay, of my uh, love for Malaysia and all that, of course, there's a time to come and there's a time to go, isn't it? And definitely, I don't think I will be in Malaysia forever. I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm going to do a video about that also. Why uh, I think I may not be in Malaysia forever or why I think it may not be possible to actually stay in Malaysia all through, okay, for foreigners. Yeah, I know some people may argue this and say, ah, but there are some foreigners that are here, staying here and all that. Yeah, some, right? Some may, but it may not be applicable to everybody, okay? Yeah, it may not be applicable to everybody because I've been in Malaysia here, so I understand how things are in one way or the other. But if you are lucky, why not? Like one African guy that was very lucky and they gave him a uh, full visa, right? Not visa. They gave him, uh, what do you call it? Permanent residence, actually, basically. So it's possible also. I didn't say it's not possible 100%. Anyways, guys, pardon the lighting of this video. I'm using natural light. Okay, now it's getting brighter because I'm coming to where the light is. I'm just strolling. Let me show you guys around so that you can enjoy the, the strolling extra something also. So yes, the thing is that having done my master's in Malaysia, I must go, okay? I need to go. But what do you guys think in the comment section below? Do you think Bolu is going? Do you think Bolu will leave Malaysia very soon? Or do you think Bolu is planning another thing? Let me know in the comment section below. Please comment and don't delete before I finalize <laughs> this video. It's basically like a cheat chat with you guys. Now, talking about my next plans. My next plans in this beautiful country, Malaysia. I would like to announce to you guys, I would like to announce to you guys that I, Bolu, I love Malaysia. My love for Malaysia cannot just go down like that. It cannot die so quick, okay? So my love for Malaysia cannot die so quick, okay? I still love Malaysia so much. And apart from that, since I've started my master's in Malaysia, I think uh, the place where you start a particular thing, it will be good to actually continue, okay? Because basically I've mastered the country, I've mastered our people, I've mastered... The only thing I've not mastered fully is the language, which I'm still learning, hopefully, and I hope to master it very well, very soon, okay? But yeah, apart from all those ones, I think there are high possibilities that I should remain in Malaysia at least to complete my uh, mass, uh, to complete my studies, okay? My postgraduate studies. Maybe I will do another thing uh, if possible. What do you guys think? But anyways, to round up this video, I can see the police people are really everywhere. I don't know what they are doing, but uh, I hope there's no challenge. I just hope there's no challenge. That one is waiting for them. So I, I will stop here, guys. <laughs> I, I, will, I will just stay here and continue. I don't know why. You know, I'm not wearing my mask now because of the, the talk. I don't want to feel heat, but I think I'm doing exercise. I don't think there's any problem. So as I was saying, guys, uh, <laughs> what do you guys want to hear? So far, so good. I've applied for PhD by God's grace in Malaysia, and I've gotten the PhD already, hopefully. Okay, hello, guys. I've gotten the PhD already, hopefully, and I'm going to continue my education here in Malaysia. Okay, I've got not, not only that I've gotten the PhD, but I've also um, started the process. Okay, and why you may be asking why, right? The major reason why I'm doing this is because is because I'm already used to Malaysia, and I feel that the education system in Malaysia is very good and it's affordable compared to other places, except if you have scholarship. Okay, but if you don't have scholarship, it's affordable compared to what to other places. So. It's been a wonderful time, guys. It's been a beautiful time. And I really appreciate this country, Malaysia, okay, for giving me the opportunity to study in my master's, even though I didn't have scholarship. And I hope somebody that we have scholarship will be watching me now, or that is in charge of scholarship will be watching me now, so that they'll give me scholarship because I'm exploring your beautiful country, okay? Yeah, so I would love to stay more. So, yes, that's it, guys. And it's been a very wonderful time. Okay, they are actually putting like a stop there, I think. Oh, sea water. Okay, no, no, I think their car had problem, the police car. I will not show you guys because I don't think it's right to actually show police car like that. So to cut the long story short, as we round up this video, because it's going to be a very brief one, Malaysia has been so good, it's been wonderful, I've learned a lot. Okay, it's a beautiful country and I plan to actually proceed my studies here in Malaysia. Okay, I plan to proceed my studies here in Malaysia 
and I believe it's going to be a wonderful time in Malaysia. And I also want to keep exploring for you guys. So uh, if you want me to continue in Malaysia, please let me know in the comment section below and let me know why you want me to be in Malaysia, why you want me to continue in Malaysia. I would really, really love to know in the comment section below. But till I see you the next time, make sure you stay positive. Don't let anybody steal your joy. And uh, where do you want me to go next? So you're going to see me in Malaysia more and more by the grace of God Almighty. So yeah, that is the exploring. Okay, I can see something there. I think that's a temple, if I'm not mistaken. So yes, I'll be going back home now. I want to eat more Malaysian food. I want to explore more. I want to meet with you guys. Okay, when things are okay, when things are normal. Until then, stay positive. Don't let anybody steal your joy. Much love and God bless you. Let's keep exploring Malaysia. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>